Welcome back. I have done something that I usually don't do. I made a plan right here. This is going to be my kill team for the kill team game. So, we're going to start off with, uh, well, let's start off with one of the just regular dudes. This guy I don't think is a specialist. He's just uh, filling in here. He's going to be right here. And let me see, this guy is going to have a bolt gun. Oh, that didn't stick too well, did it? He's going to have a bolter, bolt gun, right here. Oh, he drilled out the barrels and everything, look at me. And uh, a power maul. reason for this is the power maul gives me the extra strength in case someone has something with that more toughness in, the, in their kill team. That I need to kind of power three, but the um, bolt gun also gives me this special issue ammunition, which lets me kind of uh, uh, decide what to do depending on the opponent I'm facing. So it gives me flexibility. That's that's the word, flexibility. So both of those are giving me flexibility. Just gonna put the little dab of glue for the. Uh, you know, you know what I want to do here. Spin this around and get out the plastic glue. And it's going to be a much better choice for these because I can really control where the plastic glue is going for these little torso chest pieces things. Okay, just get one in here. You have to be careful with these because they are um, left and right side dependent. Like I just tried to put that one on the wrong side. But you can tell that's the curve at the top. It kind of follows the curve of the armor at the top, and so you can kind of you can kind of see when you're putting it in if you have it right or not. This one's this one's not wanting to go in for some reason here. But why? Because it's not this. How did that happen? Well, it's it's the wrong side. Is this the right one? Yes, this is the right one. I got some mixed up there somehow. That's fine. Corrected it before any issues. Thought I'd have this cleaned off pretty good, but I don't. Again. Alright, so we got his torso going. Legs should be... Yes, legs are doing good. I'm going to go ahead and um, wonder why I didn't cut out all the backpacks that I needed. <laughs> got his head. Already got his head going. So, yeah... So I need to get I need to get him on his on his torso here. I really need him following that movement that he's doing. Okay, there he goes. All right, look at this. His arm is going to be crucial here. Yeah, I guess I had got it and everything all cut out. You can see right there. It's all little piles and but nope, nope. I did not do it all. Forgot the backpacks. Thought I had cut everything out, but I didn't. I have enough stuff here to make several uh, Death Watch Marines now. All kinds of Marines. But i um, just doing the kill team right now because I want to get them done and painted and based, cleaned up, ready to go, and out on the field to play a kill team game. And I really thought about, you know, which army I should choose, which guys on it. I was like, I really want to do Death Witch, you know. Because Death Witch is kill teams, right? But I tell you what, it's hard to do. It's, it's kind of seems, uh, I don't know what the word you'd use kind of against rationality, but it's hard to do a Death Watch kill team because the points, it's 200 points, and you can rack 200 points up in a Death Watch army um, before breakfast without sneezing. I mean, it's quick as quick as a wink that you'll blow 200 points. You can blow 200 points on one miniature. Like, I was going to put a Witch Captain in this group, but I was going to put Witch Captain rock in there but nope 
Watch Captain Rock uh, as conceived without the um, Artificer Armor because the Artificer Armor would give him a 2 plus armor save which is against the Kill Team rules so he can't have that and be part of the Kill Team. Uh, without the Artificer Armor he was pointing out at like 140 points which I mean geez that's a big chunk of your 200 and you have to have uh, some specialists so and I could fit three specialists in but they would be bare bones as all bare bones would get out uh, be able to add like one guy could have something kind of simple simply special not too too crazy but something a little special and then that would be it the other guys would have to be you know bolter um, close combat weapon base uh, marines with no extra doodads or fiddlies and I just didn't think that was the best way to go because yeah the watch captain rock would be like insanely serious because he'd have the four up in bone and all the benefits of the watch captain but you're putting all your eggs in one basket at that point and that didn't seem to me to be the best thing to do because your guys are spread out and say you did that and that one guy that you put all your eggs into gets stuck somewhere and he has a way to get almost all of his kill team kind of over in the same area in a quick manner for some reason he's got some kind of ability or I don't know a vehicle in his thing or something and he just goes and whacks out your one guy because he's got this whole kill team focusing on one guy then you're then you're in trouble because all your special is gone you are just dealing with you're just regular dudes and you don't have much of tricks up your sleeve other than their specialist ability but you know those only go so far and if you don't pair the ability with the loadout of the person that you give it to the the model that you give it to it just doesn't do this doesn't do you gotta pair those two up now what I finally have figured out is that the, the point discrepancy on the stuff that comes with the kill team is you've got to add stuff to get to that 200 those two things in the back you can take that kill team but to get it to the 200 you have to add something to those guys whether that be um, some other unit or a vehicle or uh, you know melt the bomb option or this that or the other you've got to add something and I was confused at that at first because uh, looking at it I was like why are these not you know point wise equal so that these two forces that they included in this kill team box can um, be used just one against the other even Steven but I guess they just uh, they want you to get more stuff is what they wanted. That's why they did it that way. I suppose. I'm not 100% sure. I can't you know look into the mind of GW. But it seems like that. Because the only way to get them up to the points is to add something else to the unit. Like uh, I think the Tau. I don't have a Tau Codex or anything. But I think... Uh, someone told me, local person who does do towel, said uh, like one of the towel transports could be added and it would get you pretty close to that number. Oh, I just popped the backpack off, trying to clean the head that I should have already cleaned that I thought it did clean. Alright, so this is the first guy. He's going to be Power Mall. He's going to have the Bolter. So it's kind of a basic Marine, but he's, he's kind of a. Uh, more so than many of the other Death and Watch I built because they're kind of specialized for a certain thing. He's more jack of all trades. So this guy, okay, I'll go, I'll go from this top of the list. I have two of these guys, so I'll build the other one. One of them is going to be a specialist, so he's going to have feel no pain. So this guy, feel no pain. And it was because uh, some of the other specialist abilities that I chose just... Uh, there wasn't much left of the other specialties that that felt like it was useful for the configuration of the guys that were left that weren't specialists. 
So this is the other guy who is the exact same configuration that we just saw. Let me make sure before I get... Okay, so these are... No, that's from the other side. This is just... You know, it goes there again. This goes on there. Okay. I'm going to put these on the chest first. These uh, ammo pouches and extra rounds. Whatever they are, grenades or such, not... Seems to be the best option to get those on really quick and glued with the, um... That, not, that does not go. That's is that not an option for that side. I feel like I... I feel like I'm yeah, not, not doing this right sometimes. So that seems to be that same right side. That seems... I thought I cut these off and I paired them up as I cut them off. And apparently that is not going to help me if I do that. It doesn't seem like any of these want to fit in there. It's getting kind of frustrating. Is there something that I'm not doing right? Something's not right. Okay, there. That one. But I feel like I need more glue in there because I took too long. So, I needed the glue to be kind of still a little liquid so it would melt both pieces. Okay. Hold that together just a sec and then set it off. Okay. So, oh, well now I need to, I need to glue his body together. Do, do, derp, 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 derp. I'm having a derpy day today. Man, oh, glue everywhere. Not, not the right way to do this. Don't, do, do, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Alright, so we want this guy's pose to be a little different for sure, right? I think I'm going to try to turn him this way a bit, so let's do that. See what we can what kind of, what we can get with this um, stuff hanging off his belt, his pouch and all that. Okay, like that more. And then I feel like I want the mace to be kind of like that. So let's do that. Other guys, oh maybe even a, let's see here, let's figure it like almost straight out like that. Because to be careful of the shoulder pad like that. Yeah, kind of holding it back. Alright, let's get this death wet shoulder pad on then. Get that on that side. Blink, blink, blink. Alright, this other arm is this is the thing. This is where we got we want him basically Pointing that. No, we don't want to point it so far up. There we go. There we go. Up down a little bit. Like this. Gotta look at him straight on as I can. Alright, that looks good. I think I'm gonna put a little glue here and on the shoulder. I'm gonna whack that shoulder pad on really quick. And then the head needs to be looking, oh yeah, he's like, looking down that way. There we go. That's one cool thing about GW models is most of them, for the most part, you can get a lot of different poses and you can really create some variety in your, your armies. Alright, so this is the second guy. He is not a specialist, he's just... Adding up points, adding bodies to the kill team, but he's the same as the other guy. So, feel no pain guy, regular dude. Veterans both have the special ammunition for their bolters, and then they have the, the power mauls for when they get in close. Alright, next on my list is the Watch Sergeant. So let's start building him. Let's get him on a, on a base. Getting that started. See if I can get these up. Oh, all the chest things don't go down the back part of the torso, do they? That's not going to help anybody at all. And when I was grabbing this stuff, I actually did really think through a lot of the uh, pieces for the guys. Especially the uh, 
black shield because there is a black shield in this unit and I did him because I thought that his the black shields um, stats and the equipment that they could get and abilities would pair up really well with um, one of the kill team specialist abilities so um glue there we go glue glue's not playing glue's not playing fair today okay so this is the what sergeant for the group he is going to have a bolter <coughs> and this was strictly um, by points because I really did want to give him uh, something more substantial than the bolter but unfortunately that was not to be I just did that but I want to glue this hand onto the sword because I really want to get the angle of this sword hand to be exactly what I want it to be Okay, it's on there. I really want this to be you know, pointing almost straight out, kind of. There we go. I'll have to hold this a second, it seems like. Yep, okay. I am going to. Okay, well, geez. What's me to hold it? But, uh, yep, I have five points left, and that is going to be dumped into um, Melta Bombs for somebody. All of them can carry melt bombs. So it just depends on who I want to... Okay, my finger is more stuck to the model than the model is stuck to it. So. Anyway, I just left the glue open. I guess this is part of my issue right now. I hope this shoulder pad will fit on there good. Uh, let me check that. That's going to be... No, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. Okay. There we go. Looks in good, looks in good. In fact, let's get that shoulder pad on there. And I'm going to put glue over here because as soon as I slap that shoulder pad on, we're going to start working on this other arm. Don't think we're going to have any issues with that because the shoulder pad should just smack right on. Other arm. I kind of want him to be more concerned about his sword going in this pose. Sort of a sword forward like... <laughs> Like people put on the, the 40k memes and stuff with the guys in the tanks, you know. Drive closer so I can hit him with my sword. <laughs> that kind of theory to the to the 40k universe. Gotta get closer to the enemy so I can bash them with my sword. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and throw glue here on his arm in the backpack. Because I want to get those things on. Got him the ultramarine pad, but I did that mostly because, oh, oh, his feet weren't even totally, see that's what I get sometimes when I, I get too far ahead of myself with the gluing, I get just glue, 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 go super fast, you gotta have some time in between things, but I never do, never do, alright, so this guy, as per the standard, has the bald head, non-helmeted head and this is just because I didn't want to cut another helmeted head from somewhere and plus I'm trying to uh, push the limits on myself a little bit and I wanted to have a, a head that needs to be painted a face skin you know well, that head is you know, he's screaming out there that works too because he's kind of like yelling It's leaning too far back though. There we go. I'm going to have to put more glue on the feet. Or I'm going to put it right here on the pads that the feet were touching. I don't know why the glue wasn't holding like it should. But it certainly wasn't. And there's a what sergeant. He's got the Xeno face blade. He has a bolter. Regular dude. And he is going to be the leader of the group. So his uh, ability will be a random roll. You can't assign that one. You have to roll that randomly on a table before the game. So, hopefully it's a good one <laughs> whenever I play. Oh, jeez. This is just not. Man, that super glue is like... Look at that. It's like just not even holding anything. You know what? I'm going to get him to hold and I'll be right back. 
All right, moving on. Next on my list is the Black Shield. Decided to put a Black Shield in here, like I said earlier, because the the specialist ability that I was looking at for the Black Shield. Let's hope that starts to stick. I don't have any more issues with this um, super glue. I do have that other? Where is that at? Thought it was under the. Key under the shelf behind the camera but I can't see it but that's where I last saw it. But Charlie has apparently been in here because yay the lawnmower key is missing again. Yeah. Joyce, Joyce, gotta go. Hopefully I can find it else I have to go down and spend another two dollars and get a new one. At least they're not expensive. This time I'm gonna lock it in a safe or something. You just weld it into the yeah that might be what I do just I don't know, weld it to the ignition on the lawnmower oh I was like where's the back I forgot black shield back I was good. robes the cape or whatever <laughs> looking for the regular back yeah that makes sense all right so I got him all right so the black shield my dude here he is going to have the Killer Instinct uh, ability. And that is cool. Because what that does is um, he wounds on a 2+. Plus. Not, let me make sure if, if it's everything or just melee. But let me check, 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 check. Uh, looking through the book. Got the book here. Uh, I think it's the combat spell specialist. Yeah, two plus ones on two plus when making close combat attacks against non-vehicle models. And this is a black shield who already has the higher weapon skill. And I, uh, this black shield right here, is going to be equipped with a. I'm sorry. Doesn't want to come out, doesn't want to come out, and then gloom, boom, everywhere. Um, a power sword and a power maul. So he's got the options there depending on if he needs the AP or he needs the more strength to get through uh, someone's toughness. So it gives him options on those weapons for sure. And then the killer instinct in the kill team makes him pretty formidable because he's he's wounded on the two plus I guess it kind of defeats them all doesn't it in a little bit but you know it says against uh, in combat in close combat and non vehicle so if I have to go against a vehicle the uh, extra strength on a maul might actually get me where I can damage a vehicle and the small vehicles that are in the kill team rules that can be brought are in that range that I could actually probably put a hurt on them with with the mall action going on. So a lot easier than the sword. Plus, it makes him useful outside of kill team games as well by using as a black shield in normal games or I can you, know, you can use him as a regular marine too because a regular marine could equip this exact same loadout but the extra weapon skill of a black shield makes it more attractive to have the two close combat weapons and be able to do some do something up close now he will have to get in close combat but that may not be hard because you never you never know <laughs> All right, so there he goes. I'll let you see him up. Black shield, power sword, power maul. Got the regular black shield stuff. I didn't have any more of the gray knight to give him more of the cloaky like I did. Uh, where's that dude? He's gray. This him? This dude, this other black shield I did, I had the more cloaky in the front. Now this one is just power sword and then the shield, which a lot of people aren't doing with their black shield shields because they want to get that extra bonuses from the attacks. But that guy is going to be part of a, a protection force for other guys. 
He's not necessarily designed to get into combat. He's designed, if the unit gets into combat, then he is there to be the one guy that really helps that unit have a chance in close combat because they are designed for ranged combat. So that's what that black shield is designed for. He is designed to make sure that um, some of the units that I have that will more likely than not be strictly just um, shooting units and not really wanting to get into close combat that they'll have at least one guy with them who can uh, lay down the law so to speak as far as that's concerned and really 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 keep things on the proper side because it really sucked to have a because a unit of some of the range guys can get really expensive and if they get bogged down by some melee and you can't get out and you end up in some kind of situation like that you it's really going to be a waste of points but that's why this guy or that black shield that's why he's like that is designed to prevent those situations from arising glue 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 everywhere all right now the final guy <coughs> in the uh, the uh, unit is this little veteran right here and really you know the weapon choices were a lot of them were um, products of And you can't say any, but products of uh, points, you know, have so many points, and you got to do what you can with the points. So this guy is going to have a shotgun, and he is my final specialist. And his ability that he's going to get is, what is it, a reaping volley is what it's called. And now uh, what that does is if he has a weapon that um, can shoot more than once like it has more than one shot per turn he can direct each of those shots at separate targets so basically split fire with the same weapon from the same guy and the reason he has a shotgun is because one it is an assault weapon which uh, gives him more flexibility to most of the ammo choices, options, etc. Except for the uh, template, I believe, for the shotgun are multi-shot uh, weapon choices or ammo choices. So they're both assault two. One, the template is assault one with a template or whatever it is. But the um, the other options. I have to let those arms glue. But the other options are assault too. So it allows him, if necessary, say he's facing or close to facing down two guys, just go go, go for it. You know, bam, bam, take two of them out. Or have a chance of taking two of them out. And I think that's a really good option for the kill team. Okay, these arms are... Yes, yes, that's going to work. Okay, but I have to... Uh, Get some glue on there get those arms in there so that's why this guy is like this and yes i already have um just plain shotgun guys in my main death watch force so i could have just used one of those to do this but i didn't want to i didn't really want to see like i see other people they put the arms on and then they go and uh, try to assemble it and everything works just fine but me, I try to do it that way, and they won't. They won't line up for nothing. For nothing, they won't line up. Had so many problems with these guys. Um, all iterations of these, the uh, heavy flamer, the uh, frag cannon, and the shotgun guys, and the heavy thunder hammers. Each one, all but nothing but problems for me to assemble. Alright, I'm going to get this assembled and 
Well, no, is it going to hold for me? No, it's not. All right, I'm going to get him fixed and assembled and be right back. Frustrating, those things are so frustrating. I'm going to throw these shoulder pads on here real quick. And then I'm going to put the backpack on before the head. The head is what... Oh, well, maybe I will. The head is really what I want to get that... Get in a certain position on this one. I want to make him as different as I can from my other shotgun guys. Glue in there. And kind of want to have him looking off that direction. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, and that's the final guy with sweeping volley. So this right here. Let me zoom you in. That's cool. Good. Let's get him this way. Alright, so first guy, shotgun. Uh, he has a shotgun close combat weapon. He has a reaping volley, which allows him to shoot uh, two different targets with his um, each of his shots from the shotgun. Good, good skill. Then we have a just plain marine with a bolt gun and a power maul. Join in the team. They'll get names and everything later. Then uh, he has a brother that is equipped the same way, but he has feel no pain. So that's good. And then joining the team on the end here is a Black Shield who has a Power Sword and a Power Maul. And he gets the Killer Instinct skill. And then leading the team into battle. I guess I have to go this way right here. <laughs> is the Wet Sergeant who has a Xenophase Blade and a Bolter. And then his skill is randomly rolled. So that is going to be my kill team. I'm going to get them all painted. I am going to get names for them. And then I am going to uh, get, get them all painted, based, named, and then we'll, we'll get them into some games. So that is the project for the next. Um, I'm going to give myself, let's see, it's, um, let me see. It is. Friday already. Great. It's Friday. Early Friday. Early in the morning. One o'clock. <laughs> but it's uh, Friday. So I'm going to give myself a week and a half. So by next Wednesday, I'm going to hopefully have these guys painted, based, and ready to go. Because uh, the rest of my Death Watch forces, the bulk of them, all I have to do is have their little um, ring painted in the Ishadi Bone. Ishadi Bone. And then. Uh, then I'll have to come up with names for all those guys. Oh, and his base needs done. I, somehow I forgot to do the Dreadnought space. I don't know why. Let me zoom out because no, there's no... Yeah, like, what am I doing on the screen? Yeah, the Dreadnought... Somehow he was, like, off to the side and I forgot to do his base. So I gotta do that base too. But then that that's most of the death watch and I just have to fill in some holes but some of these guys will be good hole fillers too because this is a nice I think this is a nice kill team at least for the kill team game it's a nice kill team and for the main game this is an excellent uh, close and assault really the one shotgun guys it's kind of might seem the odd man out but when you think about it it's an assault weapon it's got the flamer template and um, it's pretty decent you know, if I had the points to slap on a, a maul or something on there, or a storm shield, probably would. But for the most part, if you're looking in here, you've got, you know, three bolters and the shotgun, so you're taking care of a lot of uh, shooting. And then when you get into close combat, it kind of swaps this way, where you've got all these guys with power weapons, and then this guy's kind of plinking on the side. So it really is balanced, I think. It's a good good kill team. Let me know what you guys think about this. You think this is a good team? You think I did okay? Um, what might you adjust uh, for your kill team? If you're building one or uh, if you were to build this kill team, what do you think you would try to change up? Alright, if you liked it, the thumbs up. It's blue and well, it's gray until you make it blue. Make it blue. Blue is great. I love blue. Not gray. We gotta make things not gray, remember? That's what we're here for. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. 
If I'm not your flavor, there are plenty of people. Just check my subscription list. Plenty of people down in there. And I'm sure you'll find someone that you really, really enjoy watching. So, I appreciate that too if you go over there and find those guys. And um, share the videos around. That really, really helps. Comment below. I answer those as soon as I can. And I will talk to you later.